Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to easily connect your Xbox One controller to your iPhone and iPad running iOS 14 down to iOS 13. You do need to be running iOS 14 or 13 or this will not work. So just check your firmware quickly by going to settings, general, about, and your software version is right there. Most people should be on the latest iOS, um, but if you're not, then this tutorial will not work for you. So the first step is get your Xbox and there are a couple of things to know. First of all, um, if you have the original Xbox One controller, this tutorial will not work for you. The reason why is because even though those controllers have wireless, they don't use Bluetooth to connect to the, uh, to connect to the Xbox, which means that you can't connect your Xbox One controller to your iPhone. So if this tutorial does not work for you, that's because your Xbox One controller is an older model. I bought mine off of Amazon. This is fully working. If you have an Xbox um, One X or Xbox One S, I believe you should be good to go, but there are no promises. Um, as long as your Xbox One controller is a newer version, you should be good to go. Also, if you're watching on an Xbox Series X and you have that controller, there's no guarantees this tutorial will work for you. This is made for the Xbox One controller. I do have an Xbox Series X, um, but I haven't tested this one out yet. So the first step is we're going to turn on our controller and it might turn on your Xbox. Um, but the important part is we need to pair it to the iPhone. So we just hold down the sync button until we see the Xbox controller starting to blink. Next, we're going to go into settings. We're going to find a Bluetooth and you should see in other devices, your controller show up. If it doesn't show up, what that means is your Xbox One controller is not supported. So we see my controller, I tap on it and it should connect. There we go, we've connected and you can see the blinking has stopped. Now, if you're running older uh, iOS 14 firmwares or iOS 13, there is this process is kind of glitchy. Um, so what I advise you do is you restart your iPhone. Um, if it fails, I turn off and on the Xbox One controller, then you should be connected. Now, even though we're connected, this tutorial is not over because first of all, not all games support this. So for example, PUBG doesn't support an Xbox controller. A lot of games don't support it, but some games like Minecraft uh, do. Same with Fortnite. So uh, this right here is Minecraft and you're going to see I'm moving the controller and you can see I have the Xbox controls available. So um, I can play Minecraft with my Xbox uh, One controller. You can also play Fortnite with your Xbox One controller. And if you want to get Fortnite or on your device, even after the App Store ban, there is a tutorial in the description down below on how to do that. It really is genuinely easy. Um, you know, Fortnite on my iPhone 12 Pro Max working uh, flawlessly. Finally, you might be like, well, now how do I connect my controller to my Xbox One? Well, on your Xbox, there should be a similar button to this, right? And so when you're done with uh, playing with the iPhone, you hold this button down to go into sync mode on your Xbox One controller. Then you also hold that same button down on your Xbox One, and then they should pair back together because you can only be paired to your iPhone or your Xbox at once. And that is how to basically, you know, revert the connection and connect your controller back to your Xbox so you can actually play on your Xbox again. So if you guys enjoyed, if you did, smash like and I'll see you guys later.